Hey guys, Ron Placone here. Welcome to another edition of Thoughts, Rants, and Cold Coffee. Earlier this week, Nancy Pelosi said that Democrats do not need a change of direction. In fact, the people don't want it. Maybe Nancy Pelosi's right. The Democrats don't need a change of direction. You know other entities that don't need a change of direction? The Cleveland Browns, the year 2016, and aging baby vomit. You know what bad person to cook with? Nancy Pelosi. Hey, Nancy, these vegetables are moldy. We should probably maybe throw these away. No, no, no. I can't imagine the people wanting to eat anything else. We're serving them. A lot of people are giving the Democrats suggestions. Ralph Stoffett of the New York Times suggested that maybe the Democrats should go more towards the center. What have they been doing for years? I can't wait for this guy's next column when he watches the show Game of Thrones and suggests that they try nudity. Donald Trump announced that a conservative think tank is going to play a large role in his policy ideas. That was, of course, until somebody explained to him that think tank was not a fancy term for keg. In New York City, dozens gathered around Wells Fargo to protest the bank's involvement in the Dakota Access Pipeline. Wells Fargo responded by trying to gather as many of the protesters' names as possible, opening up fake accounts and charging them fees. Speaking of pipelines, Canada apologized for threatening to deploy troops to deal with some of the pipeline protesters. Like, oh, I don't know what I was thinking by almost doing something bad. You know, the Maple Leafs lost, I was stressed out, I don't know. In the U.S., the government doesn't apologize when oil companies enlist contractors to beat the heads of peaceful protesters. In Canada, they apologize for just thinking of doing something and creating a scenario where unnecessary force might happen. Well, that does it for this segment of Thoughts, Rants, and Cold Coffee. Be sure to tune in next time. This is Ron Placone signing out.